the season is changing. No one's keeping a closer eye on that than the tornado hunter Greg Johnson. Greg, uh, we're seeing the storms really whip out in uh, the southern United States. Man, this year has been to this point the busiest tornado season ever recorded. So this it beats 2011, which was the previous high, and, and uh, 1973, which was also a big year. But so far, we've had over 400 tornadoes in the US, southern US so far this year. So what are you doing in Saskatchewan right now? <laughs> well, you know, the, where these are happening is uh, what we call Dixie Alley. So, you know, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, that area. And down there, it's all trees. There's not a straight road. Uh, it's all hills and, and valleys and all that kind of stuff. Very dangerous. That's where people get killed. Tennessee and Georgia lead the nation in tornado deaths. And this time of year, we don't even bother because it's just not safe. So how do you map out your storm chasing season and decide where you're going to go or if you'll spend any time here in Saskatchewan waiting for storms here as well? Well, the real uh, systems and the real troughs that we're interested in happen on the plains uh, from Texas up to North Dakota. And that starts kind of around the middle of April. So right away in the next few weeks. And so I'm actually geared up now. And when that first opportunity happens, we'll be he heading south and uh, checking it out. Do you have any sense of what the summer will be like here in Saskatchewan? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you know, based on this early pattern, which what tends to happen from year to year, you know, you hear about things like El Nino and La Nina and how they impact weather. We tend to see that uh, we have years where we have lots of troughing happening, years where we have a ridges happening. And when ridges mean no tornadoes, troughs mean tornadoes. And that's been the pattern so far this year. So, uh, you know, assuming that things sort of stay the way they are, we could be in for a very busy year. And, you know, I hate to, you know, I hate to be that guy, but... <laughs> Um, Go it's ahead, been be a, that guy. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen a really big tornado in Saskatchewan. You know, probably the last really good one was in uh, 2012 outside of Moose Jaw. Uh, and before that was 2010 at Raymore Quakatoos First Nation. They got uh, hit by a, an EF3. But we haven't seen anything like that in the last few years. So it'll be interesting uh, this year. You know, maybe this is that year. See if we're due. You've been doing this storm chasing for a decade now. Mm. Is there anything you haven't seen that you would like to see? Uh, you know what? Every year I say, you know, I, we can't top last year. We can't, we can't do it. Uh, 2016, though, we saw probably the most photogenic storm I've ever seen in my life. Uh, 2014, we witnessed twin EF4 tornadoes. This has never been seen on Earth before. Boom. Uh, 2013, we saw the largest tornado ever recorded on Earth. In fact, we were caught inside of that one. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what's left on the resume. Largest ones, first twins. I mean, there's there's a lot, a lot of uh, cool events there. But uh, uh, you know, the, the the one thing we always hope we don't see is tornadoes doing damage. And uh, last year, 2016. Uh, the, the, the big storm that we saw was at Dodge City, Kansas. This was a tornado on the ground for over an hour and a half. And it missed towns, it missed, you know, farmyards, it didn't do any real human impact. That's rare. And very rare, especially for Kansas, where, uh, you know, there always seems to be a small town getting hit or something like that. So it was a, it was a pretty, uh, we call it the, the best case scenario, tornado day. Would you give up storm chasing any time or is it still in your blood? Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I am not going to be uh, 70 years old hucking camera gear into the back of my uh, tornado truck. But, um, you know, for now, I'm, I'm loving it, making a good living doing it. And, uh, you know, frankly, it's a lot of fun. So uh, short term anyway, uh, no change. But uh, I'm sure that down the road there'll be something else. So if anybody's, I don't know if you guys are hiring right <laughs> now, but maybe you're looking for a weather guy at the CBC. Not right now. We've got Christy and we love her, but uh, you never know. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep you posted if things change. Awesome. Good luck with the upcoming storm season, Thanks Greg. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.